when you first came to Taiwan. A lot of people don't know that don't know. you went to high school first. They don't know, yeah. You went to mm. Yongping uh, High School. Yeah. What was that? What kind of experience did that give you? I was in the beginning. It was like I just step in the gym. I see those kids like where I am, man. Eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, but but after I I meet the coach and people's there, that was really 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 good. Like yes. I was real. That's really helped me to. You know, adapt in Taiwan. Taiwan first, like view of like basketball. Hey, 大家好，欢迎收看 Kenny 闹星球，我是 Kenny 高景仁。在我们的节目里面呢，每个礼拜四的晚上八点钟，带给各位最新。篮球的资讯，那今天呢，我们非常的高兴，可以邀请到呢非常棒的一位篮球选手，而且呢，可以为了他的梦想，从遥远的国度，从塞内加尔旁边的小国甘比亚，千里迢迢来到台湾。那我让我们一起来欢迎，今天呢，我们要访问的特别来宾，就是来自于台艺大啊、呃、的阿拉桑。John, would you like to say hi to everybody behind the camera and everybody on our, our channel of the friend, friend of the channel? Hi, everybody. It's Alasan here today. <laughs> John, that、like, yeah. Alasan, he has a middle name, which is John. So, in general, when we talk to our friends, we call him John. Now, John, he has a little bit of a middle name. His voice is very soft and gentle. 非常的小声，所以如果你听不清楚的话，没关系，我会随时鞭策他，这样讲话大声一点。I John, um, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. I remember first time I met you at the airport. I saw this skinny kid, um, look kind of lost and look kind of went through something a lot, very very tough、True. for a very long time. True. Can you share with us with us your first experience traveling from Gambia to Taiwan,、mm. and you stop in Thailand, Thailand to get a visa? What happened? I don't want to say sad to talk about the story, but it's a really, really, really long journey standing in Thailand because I, at that time that was not something I didn't expect. I,、yes. I just thought like, I would go to Thailand for a couple of days, get my visa, easy, and you know. But things didn't happen like that. Right. So I stand there for nine to ten months in the small apartment, <laughs> like not apartment in a room. Yes. And, right. That was tough. Because of COVID. Because you of were COVID. confined that room、mm. for like three four months. Three, you can't four leave,、months. right? Okay. Okay. And yeah, three four months. And because at the time is a COVID just hit,、yeah. so everything was closed. No gym, like nothing. Like embassy closed. Embassy. Basketball court, like everything was closed, so so I got to do everything in my small room, like work out there, eat, sleep, talk to my family. That's my was my routine. Right. So it must be very tough. Alasan, the this one person, ah, in Thailand, stayed eight or nine months. Because he flew to Thailand to prepare for his visa application, suddenly, this new virus spread to the world, and the world was affected. 让泰国呢，所有的不管是店啊、学校、篮球场、健身房，全部都关门。所以呢，他在一个小小的房间里，先待了三四个月，没有办法出门。然后接下来有点开放了，才慢慢的有一些朋友。但是那时候呢，国门还是没有开放，所以他就进不来台湾。一直到了待了八九个月以后，才顺利拿到签证进入台湾。So this whole experience, yeah, it must be very tough. Was really、and very、tough. uncertain. Very so, uncertain. Yeah. What was your impression when you first stepped into Taiwan, in a place that's like super, super different from where you're from? Yes. What What did you notice that is different? Like the first time, like the very first time, like I get off the plane, I just say thank you God, and I'm, and I'm out of Thailand, and I was pretty much okay. Because I know, like, oh, like something new is happening. I'm, I'm, I'm not in Thailand no more, so I need to change my brand and gotta adapt to what's gonna happen next. Because it's a new country, 
no people, no place, gotta adapt. So the very beginning was not easy. Yes. Yeah, because I gotta adapt to people. I come from Africa, they know people are gonna look at you like this. <laughs> so I come here, it's the first time was really hard, but okay, after a few months, after I try to understand the culture, the people, how they going and everything. Mm -hmm. But that was pretty much like a little bit long journey, but I'm okay. Good. Well, I, I'm sure, you know, a lot of people know you from just playing basketball and watch you play basketball on television. Yeah. Um, but what kind of family background do you have? How many brother sisters do you have? Um, mm -hmm. What do your parents do? Can you yeah, share sure, with sure, us a little sure. bit? I have uh, my wee five in my family, like six, like my little brother from another mom. We five, uh, I got three elders mm -hmm. and one little brother. Same okay. parents, so I'm kind of in the middle. Yeah, okay. so we all grow up in the same family, like African family, it's a little bit big. You know, you got your grandma, everybody's around. But sadly, I, I early lost my mom, so we grow up in my grandma's side and my dad. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's pretty much, yeah, cool. Yeah, well, coming from a big family, um, your brother, your older brothers are left the house mm. and you are with your two your younger brothers and, and your father. Yeah. What, what brought you or what inspired you to play, start playing basketball in this kind of family environment? How did you get started? Oh, like I start because my cousin. Okay. Because uh, I have a cousin in Philippines now. So every time on like a summer, he was coming to my house, like our big family house. We were standing there and he said, okay, we want to, he want to start playing basketball or something like that. In the beginning, I was not really interested. I was just, okay, let's go. I'm, I can help you to find us. So, but we got to work like really far. It was not really convenient to mm -hmm. find a basketball court. But once we got there, I was, the first time I didn't do nothing, but the second time I was, okay, let me try. Now I try. So you went to the court very far, but you did not play? I did not play. I was just sitting there waiting for him to finish his practice. And I was really boring. Because watching people <laughs> doing that was like, you know, really not. Now your cousin, this is Babcock? Babcock, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so after the second time we go together, say, let me try. And I tried. Bro, since and you like that? Since that It's day. like a drug. <laughs> since that day, it's a drug. Like, yeah. I got to do it every day. Basketball since, fever since that day. Yeah, yeah. in Jiao Yuan's Fezhou, you to find a basketball court. It's not easy. That Alasan's first time to go to basketball and his brother, his brother. Then, the first time, the first time he didn't get it. The second time he got it, he just couldn't get it. But I think that using this kind of love for basketball, this kind of basketball passion for basketball, brought you all the way. To, from Africa to Taiwan. To Taiwan. Um, when you came to Taiwan, what was your goal and objective? What did you want to accomplish? What did you want to do with basketball? Like, I can tell, like, us, us coming, like, coming here as a kid, as everyone who, come, who leave your house to come to another country because the first thing is like, oh, I want to make it to help my family. So that was the first thing. So I have to make it to help my family because I know what I left back home. The situation is not that easy. Gotta take care of them. I see everything already, so. So I just say, okay, I need to put everything on it and make it, I have to, mm -hmm. yeah. So you have to make it an eventual goal, but every goal starts with very humble beginning. True. When you first came to Taiwan, a lot of people don't know that don't know. you went to a high school first. They don't know, yeah. You went to mm -hmm. Yongping uh, High School. Yeah. What was that? What kind of experience did that give you? I was, in the beginning, it was like, I just step in the gym, I see those kids like, where I am, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, I, but, but after I, I meet the coach and people there, that was really, really, really good. Like, yes. I was real, that's really helped me to, you know, adapt in Taoyuan, Taoyuan first like view of like basketball. Yes. And the running and the, the, everything was different as where I'm from. But every day I was, you know, adapting myself to the situation here, to the basketball here, to the environment, the people. 
Mm -hmm. And I can tell like that's really helped me. Uh, the first, the fact that I go to that high school first before I go to college. Yes. So after high school, you start going to university. You went to Taida. Yeah. Um, when you got to Taida, do you feel any different? From the high school basketball, yes, yes, or yes. is there anybody that from the school that can, that help you particularly, or you know, help you like Trust fit me. in a little better? Right, right, right. The the college was different. Right. I see uh, if I can compare college and high school in Taiwan, it's kind of different. So in college, I learned a lot of things too, because my first year and my second year, I can see the difference. Mm -hmm. In college, I, like, I heard a lot of things. I have the chance to meet a coach who who really helped me to to show up my potential, even though all these games I was like, you know, showing attitude sometimes, but he really helped me to control myself emotion-wise and basketball-wise. Mm -hmm. He really helped me a lot. To play basketball, besides skill sets, besides exactly. strength, exactly. ability, a lot of times you need to have the attitude and the tolerance mm. of the game. True. Yes. True. So, uh, you would say these are the things that you improve the most. Facts. But I, 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 I really think it's different, because when I first saw you, you were like a real skinny kid. And um, how much did you weigh when you came to Taiwan? Below ninety. Wow. Uh, Ninety kilograms. How much do you weigh now? One hundred six seven. Yeah. Ah, sounds like neat. So I just asked him about his weight. It's a little like asking a. 身材很苗条的女生一样。Oh, I only weigh 40 kg. <laughs> <laughs> yes,、uh, yeah, yeah, it's a kind of personal question, right? You、yeah. don't really want to give out, but you know, it's it's part of progression、mm, yeah, of、sure. becoming a better ball player. Right. I remember when I first told you, "Well, you just need to get a bigger body, you know, bigger arms." You you tell me, "Oh, I just need bigger legs. For sure, I need to run and jump fast." <laughs> but now you're like a huge, big man. That can really take on a professional game. Yeah,、um, so. I'm sure the years of practice in college level really led to that. Is there anybody in college that you hang out with the most, or you you befriend somebody yeah. from the school? Yeah, the I, I'm good with everybody. Like、yeah. in my teams,、uh, like kind of different because I was really not hanging out or going doing certain things.、Mm -hmm. So I was most of the time in the gym. If I'm not sleeping or eating, right. So I'm working out. You're working out all the time. I have to. Like, yeah. I ain't got choice. So all these things like hanging out and, and stuff, I was just putting it aside <coughs> and stay focused on myself. So is there game or any moment in UBA that you remember the most? The the game that you score 51 or、mm. the game which do you have any lasting impression games? Yeah, I can tell all the games touch me. Like all the games, like still on my brain. Like because each games I learn something from it. Each game, the game I score 51 points or the game I score just under 10 points. So、mm -hmm. all of them just taught me something. Like I gotta work more, no matter what. I score 50 point or nine point, something like that.、Mm -hmm. But that was really exciting. Like scoring 51 point, I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. And yeah. those days I scored nine point or ten points, so like, oh, I gotta go to work,、mm -hmm. to get better. 可以感觉得出来 ，John 是一个非常注重在专心他的目标，然后要达成他目标的一个人。他说，可能他的五十一分的比赛跟他的八九分的比赛。那个记忆跟印象一样深刻，因为这跟他讲说他要更加的努力才能进步。Well, I'm sure recently there are a lot of first-time things for you, like joining the draft, like getting interview right now. And、uh, I remember your first interview is probably done by my son, right? Of course, Kevin. <laughs> now your second interview is with me.、Right. Um, is there? A、special moment with、uh, learning basketball in Senegal or Gambia, like I know you played、um, the D1s,、uh, Division One,、mm. A Division Two, when you were only 16. That was cool. And was,、uh, what was how was that? What was that like? Playing that with a bunch like, of adults. Big ass problem, you know. They like people really, you know, they going crazy on you. <laughs> they, <laughs> they go crazy, go on, crazy you. on you, like. 
It's like, yeah, you can, you're gonna get people taller than bigger and stronger than you, and right? they don't care, man. If they're gonna hit you, they're gonna hit you, nobody told them, you know? And as a kid going, seeing that, I, but I pretty much like it. And I think that's helped me to grow a lot in, right. in that period of time too. Because all of them was like older and, you know, bigger. And they're all big. So I gotta be the behind guy. Right. <laughs> and, but that's helped me too. Like, that's really helped me a lot. Of, a lot. Yeah, I, I think it takes a lot of courage mm -hmm. and a lot of focus to be competing with, that. with people that are much older, much stronger. Right. It takes a similar courage to make you want to chase a goal and fly all the way from Africa to Taiwan. Nice. Uh, so far, this journey, are you happy? Yeah. Are you satisfied? Or what would describe your emotion so far with this chase, your dream in Taiwan? I couldn't say satisfied because I'm not where I want to be yet, but I'm happy for what I'm having. I'm thankful for what I'm having right now. I'm, I'm really good, like not even for just what I have, but for everything, for the long way that God gave, put me on the journey, everything, I'm really thankful for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little bit helping my family right now, I can tell. And two years behind was not like that. So I'm really thankful for this. And I hope I can be where I want to be mm -hmm. in better position to support and help my family. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know that um, you're a professional player now. Oh. You are capable of helping your family. What did you do with your first paycheck? I sent it to my dad. You heard Gao Hongjuan? Gao Hongjuan is my son. That's why you know, his first professional salary 就直接寄去了给他的爸爸 ，OK。Yeah， 世界的父亲们，也希望你们的小孩都跟阿拉桑一样，这个工作的第一份薪水呢，就直接寄回了自己的家乡。Well, John, thank you for being with us today. Ah, you're welcome. And、uh, 各位不用担心，因为呢，在未来的节目里面呢，我们会有更多的阿拉桑跟大家一起来分享。那今天我们节目就到这边到一个段落。And let's say bye to everybody. John. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.